co-founder of CrossFit Central. And uh, she's actually an old friend of mine. And um, I know she's always been fit. She's always been in shape. And I uh, went away to California after college. And I come back, and she's more fit, ridiculously. So I just asked her what she'd been doing. And she told me about CrossFit. We pulled up some uh, videos of uh, some crazy girls uh, doing some muscle-ups. You might have heard of it, Nasty Girls. Um, and I was just blown away and didn't think I could ever do it, but she kept calling me and calling me and said, you know, come try, come try it out. So um, I came, and it was at our old gym down the street, just a little garage, August, Texas heat. I was dying. Zach Teal was yelling at me. And uh, for some odd reason, I liked it and came back. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been hooked ever since. Awesome experience. Uh, you, I mean, you can't compete with that. Um, I'm really glad that I went as a team because uh, I think it kind of eased my way in. There's a little bit more of a fun element to it whenever you compete as a team. And it's not so about yourself, not so, you know, nervous and worried. You just go out there and you have fun because you have your kind of team to rely on. Um, so we came out second place, um, had a blast, made some amazing relationships, and um, kind of like gave me that kind of fire in the belly that, you know, had that experience and now I want more. I want to try individual, go harder, achieve something a little bit more. And so after last year's games, it took me a while to kind of decompress um, after that. It's like, what do you do after the, the games is over? You know, you kind of have a couple of weeks where you just don't really know what to do. And then um, kind of getting back into it, start training again. Then people already start talking about next year's games, 2010. I'm like, seriously, already? Um, but yeah, like I said, it just kind of left me with that that urge to go after something more, to, you know, to not be scared of being great, like to step out of my comfort zone, um, to demand more for myself, uh, just to get out there and like really compete. Because in 20 years, when you look back at your life, you can be like, damn, I did that, you know. The games to me, um, really just um, achieving the impossible. Um, I think I've been a people pleaser a lot of my life. Um, so I've always been like, oh, that's okay, I won't do this. And so just like not being the best I can, not, you know, going after something crazy, the impossible. And uh, for me, it's getting, you know, getting past my fears and just becoming more and doing more, demanding more. And uh, the games is just that perfect display of give it all you got, throw it down right then and there, get down and dirty. So. Um, be pretty cool to compete against my own Carrie Kepler. <laughs> uh, she's a beast, and I uh, I get to work out with her every now and then. Um, but I think just being in competition alongside of her would be uh, pretty cool. And um, Olympic lifting, yeah. I think um, you know, as a female in high school, we never had Olympic lifting. Um, I did a little bit of gymnastics as a kid, so that's the most new thing to me. And it just feels empowering just to like rah, throw you know, weight over your head from the ground. And yeah, I like that. It's, it, feel, it feels powerful and empowering, so. Eight weeks, yeah, seven and a half, eight weeks uh, from regionals, um, sectionals. Uh, loved it, had a blast, came out second. Uh, my goal was top five. So coming out second place, I was super excited and I feel like that was kind of the answer that I needed, like, okay, yes, you can do this, yes, you should go for individual, you know, because I was like, maybe I should just try out for team. Um, so it was good, but then I went on vacation, um, kind of that, that downside, which I needed, you know, to take some time off, some rest. Uh, so I got back about a week ago, time to ramp it up again, um, work on some weaknesses that is a great thing about sectionals, it kind of pulled everybody's weaknesses out. Um, thought I could do handstand push-ups really well. Can't. <laughs> I got through it, but um, definitely need work on uh, gymnastic stuff, handstand push-ups, spring dips, um, and then work on my running more. I've kind of gotten away from the running, so that's my main goals for regionals. Oh yeah, yeah. There's always surprises <laughs> um, with the other competition, the other people. There'll be some people that come out of the woodworks. Um, as well as like what the workout might entail. They're always, you know, that's what CrossFit is, the unknown and the unknowable. <laughs> At CrossFit Central in Austin, Texas, and my name is Jessica Sherrick. Sweet.